Me hot. Thank you so much. We are really, really excited to be here, and we're really happy and excited to see all of you here today. And we want to give a special shout out to all of the Allstate Band, Choir, and Orchestra students. Where are you at? Right. Congratulations. Congratulations. So we are the Deer Creek Brass. We hail from the Casper area, and we would love to come to your school someday if you, you want to come talk to us afterwards. We'll, we'll drive just about anywhere. Our Kind of our unofficial motto is like, We'll play anything, anytime, anywhere. So um, we just love playing, and we hope you have as much fun listening as, as we have playing for you. So we're going to do a ragtime piece of music right now. Um, this would be something you might hear if you were live about 110 years ago. You walk into a concert hall, you hear this. After that, we have a couple of uh, movie themes. We have Pure Imagination from the Willy Wonka series of movies. And then after that, um, uh, the theme from The Incredibles. And then we'll talk a little more after that. So thank you so much.
Well, again, thank you so much, and especially whoever just gave us that woo. We, we love the woo. That's awesome. So for the next piece of music, I need to give a, a brief explanation. There's some important things we want you to know about this. So this song is called Last Ride in Memory of Doug Bull, and I'm sure there are probably a few music educators in our audience tonight who, know, who knew or remember Doug Bull. Um, Doug taught music, he taught band in Douglas for a long time, and then he taught band at Casper College for a long time. Doug passed away just about two years ago, and Doug was one of the founding members of this group as well as a couple other groups in the area. And just to give you an idea about Doug and what kind of person and musician he was, Doug played in the Tonight Show Band as a sub for a couple of weeks. Doug played with Phil Collins and Neil Diamond, and he played with Bob Hope and Frank Sinatra, and lots and lots of other famous people. He played for five different presidential inaugurations. So that kind of just gives you an idea of how amazing of a musician Doug was. Well, as amazing as he was as a musician, he was an even better person. And he was a really good close friend to all of us and to several people out here as well. So upon his passing a couple years ago, our trombone player, Chris Ehrlich, wrote this piece of music to honor Doug. And just a couple things about this. It's based on the notes D-A-B, which was Doug Bull's initials. So you'll hear the main theme that has those three notes in it, D, A, and B. And for you purists, we're playing it down a half step. Please don't freak out. <laughs> um, but anyway, Doug had a great sense of humor, a very dry sense of humor. And so one thing that he liked to do, both as a director and as a performer, was he would just uh, kind of real quickly say, hey guys, let's end on the wrong note on purpose and see what the audience does. So when Chris wrote this piece of music, he has us ending on the wrong note, in a wrong key. Sometimes we leave it there, sometimes we wait a few seconds and then we resolve it back to the right key. We never quite know, Chris kind of directs us through that one, we never quite know which way it's going to happen. You never quite know which way it's going to happen, but in any case, last ride in memory of Doug Bull, we hope you enjoy that. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to finish off our set tonight with um, but just kind of a rousing song that some of you can sing along on. It's called It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing. If you know it, go ahead and sing along with us. We would absolutely love to have you do that along with us. Um, but again, thank you to Brian Redmond, and thank you to the WMEA for having us here tonight. And thank you to all of you. We sure appreciate you being here, and we're just having a grand old time. <laughs>